what's up guys this is the, the african paparazzi if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel subscribe below now guys today we are talking about why the 30 million culture will not benefit every youth out there or every artist out there or why the six uh, million us dollars for aqua farming will not benefit everyone the reason being why is that not every person is in aqua farming not every youth out there is doing aqua farming there are youths who desire money there are youths who desire uh, uh, commodity manufacturing they are youths with great talents so if our honorable government every youth out there is gonna benefit from this farming okay because not everyone has the skill this is where our training comes in we have more than six million youths in this nation and they, those six million youths are, are, are part of those people voting so you guys you know now what people should do is that the six million if it's going to help out a lot that six million has to be divided into segments you know instead of parts where others are going to that six million should go towards empowering youths in, in of course those who are already in aqua farming and those who, 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 who have the skill and those who have the desire to learn and not only that but it also should go into youths in mining the government should empower the youths in mining and those groups of youths who desire because there, there's a high unemployment level of, 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 of among the youths there are a lot of graduates out there who are not yet employed so if this six million dollars is going to go to the youths of which many people have doubted that it's going to go to youths and those people had attended the meeting and, and, and are highly doubtful that it's going to be channeled because of high corruption levels as, as as people have said so you guys now we're talking about where the government should should, should should really help out youths uh, in mining, youths in agriculture, not only aqua farming, poultry, you know, you know, dairy, and and all other sectors of of, of aqua farming, such as uh, even for florists, you know what I'm saying, cashew nuts, you know, all these are areas which are locatably you understand, guys. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the African Paparazzi, subscribe below and comment down the line. Okay, guys. Thank you. But the government should empower everyone now. Every youth has to be empowered because it has the capability to empower the youth. Now let's talk about the mining industries. We have seen where by Mopani has been running the mine badly. You know, they, they, they put it under care maintenance. We know of course the mining industry has lost about 30% of revenue. But that's no way uh, uh, you know, they are making a lot of money out there. This is what now, for a long time, the mines would employ, uh, they would produce uh, a list of people they would like to employ and they would produce a number of people they are saying, okay, we're going to employ uh, about 3,000 people this year. You now, it's not so these days because we, things are just crumbling. Now, Mopani has been mistreating makers, um, other mining companies have not been doing so. So, what we're saying, if the government can empower mine, you know, youths uh, to run, to supply mines, to run small mines at the small mines because of course mining requires a lot of experience. So what we are saying is that government should empower youths in mining, youths in agriculture, youths in different sectors of the economy. If this economy has to grow, what that's what we mean and, and that should root out corruption, you know, because a lot of people are complaining about corruption. So what we are saying is that government should engage the youths at a mass scale as you go. Guys, let's talk about it now. Let's continue to talk about it. With the Silicon Valley of Zambia, the government should consider highly investing in the dollar college, which is now a city college of high technology and they should give a lot of bursaries to people who have got technology skills and they should empower them. And that dollar can be the ICT. ICT standard town of Zambia. You know, you know, we have started very well, but they should empower that uh, college or uh, turn it into a technological university where people can learn coding, they can learn uh, software engineering, computer engineering, computer application development, uh, cyber, whatever. Everything that does with technology and invest 
infrastructure because Nola has the capability of becoming the Silicon Valley of Africa. You know, we have countries like Kenya, South Africa, especially Kenya, which is doing well, and government should attract companies like Google to come and set up in Zambia. You understand, guys? But it's not going to happen if people in the government does not invest in Nola. And the other thing is, you know, some ways it can be. The, 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 the center of gold production where the government can wholly own the gold production. The government does not need any interest. You know, I'm no expert, I'm just saying it. It's just my personal opinion. But what I'm saying is that Zambia can be the Singapore of Africa or can be the Dubai of Africa or UAE of Africa if only investments were done in youths and money was channeled in the appropriate areas you understand you guys otherwise we, we, we need to soldier or we need to invest massively in technology massively among the youth and also among the six million dollars part of it goes to agriculture part of it can go to ICT you know part of it can go to uh, we need companies youths to establish companies like pharmaceutical companies we don't we need to reach a, a, a point where Zambia could be a self-sustaining a self-sustaining country where we do not import ICT equipment where we do not import medication where we do not import anything but we are exporting therefore making Making this nation a rich nation but if we do not work together if we do not do anything it will not happen therefore that six million it can start by channeling properly and ensuring appropriate auditing is taking place because corruption levels is killing this nation is killing you know talent okay invest in sports invest in technology invest in um, culture investing in, 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 in a lot of things that are pertaining to, 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 to the development of this nation but the six million should go in appropriate channels you understand otherwise things are not going to be well what I mean they're not going to be well meaning that there won't be any development among the youth and the youth will continue complaining as they are already complaining so guys let's continue ensuring that we, 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 we ensure that the appropriate investment among our leaders we put in power in our communities, the councillors, the MPs, they are working. Okay, yeah, okay. So now look at this. Um, ever since the CCM sold the, the mines, okay, mining town from my own observation look like war torn countries like war torn Iraq and other cities. Look at Ufrila, look at Dollar. I mean, Chingola, look at uh, these kind of towns where there is mining taking place, which were run by ZCM in the olden days. They still look poor, dilapidated. The economy standard has gone down since they sold off the mines 20 years ago. So, if only government to increase the shares as they are planning to increase the shares. Uh, in mines from 20% and 10%, especially in the companies, will increase even to 70% and kick the company out. Okay, oh, from 20% to 100%, maybe 50% in every mine program they have. You understand, you people? Yes! So thank you guys for watching. Standing from him um, uh, running down uh, the Chinese home barber shops and foreign home, uh, 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 you know, come, uh, bars, you know, where he closed them. Now, this upset certain members of the PF ruling party that the mayor of the great city of Osaka is likely not to be adopted. Can you guys 
yeah so anyway if you haven't yet subscribed subscribe and turn on the notification button so that's like a couple of words okay guys now a lot of people it seems within the pf because he has won the hearts of many residents in lusaka they do not want him to recontest and because he's making decisions which are totally different from their decisions as a result is unlikely to be adopted but we are eager to wait what will happen now you guys were also talking about the six million that has been raised of six million dollars offered for the youth's empowerment development which we're going to talk about in this segment you know whereby um there was the youth to be empowered to in aqua farming now the question is what about mining what about youths in youths in mining on the copper belt in Rufusa? you know we don't know if they are youths in solwezi what about the youths who desire to mine emeralds what about the youths who desire to mine manganese what about them if they can be given mining license what about youths who desire to, to, to be in the oil industry why can't they be empowered then if they can be empowered then it can be greater and also you know guys this is the African paparazzi yes okay guys so now that's what we're talking about